Hey guys, it's Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing and I'm here today with a unboxing video. So this is my second unboxing video. Um, I went online the other night and I bought loads of books. Um, so these are all from a Irish second-hand bookstore online. All the books are only two euro. Um, if you get ten, delivery is free. So that is great. Um, so I bought a load of books. So I can't wait to show you what I got. First one that I have here is The Other Bolin Girl. Um, I've actually read this, by, it's by Philippa Gregory. I've read this, Philippa Gregory is one of my favourite authors. She's probably one of my favourite historical authors. Um, I have read this book a long time ago, but I don't own it. And I do have quite um, an expansive Philippa Gregory collection. I'm kind of trying to get as much of her books as I can. So yes, yeah, so this is gonna go there. And yay, I'm so glad I have it because I've been wanting to reread it for a long time. So, yeah. And the next one I have um, has actually been up on this website for ages and I kept clicking on it and I kept putting it in my basket and then taking it out and then putting it back on and taking it out and eventually I just went and I bought it and it is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. I have read the whole series, I just don't own them, I used to get them from the library and I think I want to try and collect as many of them as I can, same as Philip Gregory. So yeah, so I would like to read them at some point, I don't know when that will happen. Um, and I do want to reread The Infernal Devices as well because I loved that series. That was such an amazing series. So I really want to reread all of them. But I'm glad I finally have a copy of this book. And I'm really, I'm so happy it had all of these books. It is Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater, Linger by Maddie Stiefvater, and Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. Um, oh my god, I'm so happy. And I think these are actually the newer covers now that I look at them. Uh, they aren't the covers that I thought they were. So yes, I'm so happy and I have read these as well, all of these books I've already read but um, they were only two euro so it was only like six euro for the whole trilogy so I am absolutely delighted I was able to get them. I do want to read them again and again, this is another series I want to reread soon and um, so now I have the whole thing, all the covers match um, and I'm hoping, I only found out recently from another booktube video that there's going to be a fourth book in this series so it's already out so I'm going to have to try and get that as soon as possible so yes I'm really happy to get this and the next two books I have are Lyriel by Garth Nix and The Creature in the Case by Garth Nix which is only a little novella it's very short I haven't actually read this series but I did get they didn't have Sabriel for some reason on the book on the book uh, website so they only had these two so I did actually get Sabriel from my library in my latest library hall so I do have that and yeah so I'm really really happy to have these two as well I have heard so much about the series and I really want to read them and now I have this so I thought that while I was getting Lyriel I might as well get the novella because I know that if I like the series I would end up getting the novella probably on my Kindle so I was like it's here so I might as well just I might as well just buy it oh and I also forgot that I did get Shades Children by Gartnix as well um I don't know too much about this I don't know if it's a standalone or if it's a series um but I just decided to buy it you know I was getting some of his other books so if anyone has read this let me know if it's good or if it's a part of a series because I have no idea um so yeah Shades of Children the next book I got is also one of my favorite historical authors and it's Shadows and Strongholds by Elizabeth Chadwick um, I don't think that this is a series, I think this might be a standalone, um, but I have read a good few of her books, again I got a lot of her books from the library and it was online so I was like I'm going to get one of her books because she is an amazing writer and if anyone loves historical fiction and hasn't checked out any of her books I would really urge you to do so because she is just phenomenal, her writing is beautiful, her story making is amazing, her characters are just so deep and real and yeah. <laughs> I just love her. I really, really love her. Oh, and I just dropped that. And then my last book I have, um, I just, I just wanted it. So it's Dog Heroes: True Stories of Canine Courage by Ben Holt. Um, and I love dogs. I am a huge dog person. I have three dogs, so I just wanted this book because I think it was, it's kind of a book for me. So this is like, it's like just probably for children. The print is quite big. Um, so I think this would be something if like it's a rainy day or something I could just really flick through this book really quickly so yeah I'm really happy to get this too 
So that is my book haul. There's no books left. Um, I got 10 books all together, which I'm really happy with. Um, this bookstore is probably going to be my downfall. I'm probably going to be getting it all the time. But again, it's probably people like me that help keep it afloat. I'm not sure if it's used very much. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy. And you got, I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books, the ones that I haven't read, what you think. If you haven't read any of the ones that I have read that I have bought, I would urge you to read them because obviously I think they're good if I'm going to buy a copy for myself. Um, so let me know if you guys bought anything interesting this month and uh, let me know. So I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!